notorious uh, Oshawa is in, uh, in certain uh, areas. Um, the mayor, I thought, was very supportive in the beginning. He came to our first meeting. He stayed the whole evening. Uh, you know, he's a busy guy, and I had great respect for him when he, uh, when he did that. Um, Oh yes, yes. So we had the uh, the lady who's responsible for all Durham housing do a presentation to our group. Uh, we also had a uh, lawyer named Mark Weisleder, uh, who is a uh, columnist with the Toronto Star. He's published a number of books. Uh, he's a superb speaker. Uh, he also did a presentation uh, at our group. Uh, next month we've got, uh, or this coming May 9th, we've got uh, four paralegals that are going to sign a panel. It's something different and we're going to interrogate them with all of our uh, our issues. I'm hoping, by the way, uh, and I've got a uh, confirmation that they'll come, but I don't know when, uh, the manager of customer services for the landlord tenant board. Uh, and boy, are we going to be ready for her. So uh, I've warned her that, uh, you know, she's uh, you know, she's walking through the lion's den. She said, no problem, you know, I can take care of it. And I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what happens there. So, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, anybody give me either your email or your uh, phone. Well, email would be ideal because that's how I best communicate with everybody. Yeah, okay. Uh, and uh, uh, we charge $80 a year. We're not, we're registered not-for-profit. So uh, I wasn't even sure we'd get that because the uh, uh, Canada Revenue Service has very specific rules about uh, not-for-profit uh, organizations. And landlord organizations generally don't get it because we're not perceived as contributing to society or to the community. It's a, you know, it's a self-serving organization, if you will. Uh, however, uh, we did get it because uh, uh, one of the things that I've tried to do is disseminate information that will help the tenants when they get themselves in trouble. So we've got a website and there's a page dedicated with about, oh, I don't know, 20 odd brochures of things, of programs that Durham Housing, uh, Durham Region and the various cities have to support the tenants. And I do want to, you know, uh, pass that information along to the tenants and show them that we're not out to get them, but we really are trying to cooperate and find some kind of harmony uh, between, you know, disparate interests. I know, that's a funny thing to say, but it's a, it's a lofty goal, it's worth shooting for, you know, even if, it's a, even if we fall short of it, it's still better than where we are today. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I mean, you know, I have to travel an hour to get here every time I come here, and I probably put in 15 hours a month to arrange those meetings and coordinate with people and, you know, update the websites and get the meetings and the presentations and uh, send out, well, you know what it's like. So that's, uh, you know, that's my view on that. Uh, oh, by the way, I've got uh, a list of, uh, this is the last little piece of information. I'm going to just tell you two other little things. This is the list uh, of all the um, increases, guidelines, since 1975. In the first decade, uh, the average increase was 5.3 percent. It started at 8, by the way. We were allowed to increase up to 8 uh, percent. From 75, uh, dropped down to 6 percent. From 78 to 85, bounced up and down in the 5 range uh, in the 90s decade. And now we're averaging 2.2 percent in this decade. 2.2 percent. But if I was to go and look at the uh, Cost of living index, it's a hell of a lot higher than 2%. And then one other little thing that I uh, got actually from Triple, who was at a, uh, doing a presentation uh, at a uh, conference downtown, put up this chart. And you can't see it. I asked if you'd have a little projector or something. But basically, it shows that properties in Toronto, because that's what this was uh, dealing with, but I'm sure it's fairly consistent across the province. Below $800 has the highest vacancy rate. It's an absolute misconception by everybody that there's no housing available at the low end. There's no house, affordable housing available. It actually has the highest vacancy of any properties at any rates. Uh, the lowest is between 1,000 and 1,100. 
uh, and there is a one and a quarter percent vacancy even at twelve hundred dollars. It's two and a half percent below eight hundred. So, you know, the the government's arg argument that this that's okay, you're forgiven. You missed the best part. Yeah, I'm done. All right.